Hey there, Rye the Car Guy here, and sometimes when you go to the doctor, they tell you that you need to get blood work done. And they do that because your blood tells you so much about your health. Today we're going to get some blood work done, but we're going to do it on our motors. The engine oil is the blood of your motor, and it can tell you so much about the health of your vehicle. So today we're going to take a sample and we're going to send it to a company called Blackstone Labs. They are then going to take that sample, they're going to analyze it, and they're going to tell you what's in it. They're going to look at different elements, they're going to look at additives, they're going to look at viscosity, a whole list of things that they can tell you about the health of your vehicle based on the oil. Before we go any further, I just want you to know that Blackstone Labs is not a sponsor. Uh, they did not pay for this video. I'm not getting the services for free. I just want to show you how you can go get an oil analysis done on your vehicle so you can learn more about the health of your engine. So to get started, you would go to blackstone-labs.com where you can go read about their services and order a free test kit that they'll ship straight to your house. Once you have the kit, it'll just come in this little black container and inside contains everything that you need to collect a sample. That includes a plastic bag, a form to fill out for your analysis, the sample container, an absorbent pad, and directions with a sample report on what you can expect to receive. Now there's two ways you can take the oil sample. You can take it during an oil change, which is how I'm going to be doing it, or you can do it with a pump that you can put right down your oil filler neck and uh, just collect it out of there. If you want to do that, that's fine. I would just wait until you're going to do an oil change and that way you can just get the sample while you're doing the oil change. It's going to be quicker and easier and you're getting your oil change done. Regardless of how you decide to collect the sample, the oil needs to be warm, which means your engine needs to be warm. So go out and drive it, get it up to operating temperature, make sure that it's running for a little while, then come back, and then that's when you're going to want to collect your sample. Now when you're collecting the sample underneath the truck, you want to make sure you're not getting the very beginning of the drain or the very end. So just take out the plug, let the oil begin to drain for a little bit, and then once you feel like it's about halfway through, collect your sample, and then once you collect the sample, let it finish draining, and then plug it back up just as you would during a normal oil change. So here's the sample we collected. We're just gonna make sure that this lid is on tight and that this is nice and clean. Now all we need to do is fill out this form and you want to create what's called a unit ID, which is just going to be a unique identifier for your car. For instance, I'm going to do, you know, Ryan's Xterra, Rise X, whatever. And then you want to put your sample and the absorbent material in this bag. And then put that plus your uh, card you filled out inside of this container. Make sure it's nice and tight and then get it mailed back to Blackstone. Once they get the sample, they'll obviously have to do the analysis. Once they do the analysis, if you give them an email address, they can get the results back to you that same day. If not, they're going to mail them back to you. So now that mine is mailed out, we're just going to wait a few days. Once we get the analysis, I'll talk it over with you. So it's about 12 days later and Blackstone is finished with the analysis. Uh, they sent me an email with the report in it, so let's go through that right now. So here's the email. It just comes from Blackstone Labs and the uh, report is just an attached PDF. So I'm gonna download that and open it. Now the report is broken up in six different sections. In the upper right, it's just gonna be their information and the uh, unit ID, which is the ID that you selected when you filled out that paperwork. Next is the unit, so effectively what oil were they testing, how many miles were on the oil, and then the make and model of the vehicle. Then of course there's your information. Um, I went ahead and redacted that since this is a public video. And then we get into the guts. The comments is a great section. This is effectively where the people that analyzed your oil went through the results and kind of gave you just a, a summary of the results in a nice readable format. So first they explained that the universal averages that are listed in this document are based off of 5,900 miles on the oil. Then they go on to explain that the iron in the oil is really the only number that's higher than it should be. Then they go on to explain that iron in the oil might just be normal for this motor, but it's something to keep an eye on. All of the other metals look great, and there's no fuel or coolant present in the oil. So right away, I'm really not worried about my numbers. They all look really good because they explained it to me, right? However, if you want to go through and look at the stats for each of the elements that they test, you can do that in the section below. The first column here is going to be the sample they just took, and in the future, if you were to take more, they would add them on in these columns. Then your unit, those are going to be your averages for all of the samples that you've given them. Then on the right is going to be the universal averages 
from oil tested from similar environments. Then the last section is the properties. These are things like viscosity and whether or not they found any fuel or antifreeze in the oil. Now notice there's no universal averages in this section and that's because it doesn't really matter. It's pretty black and white. There is a number that it should be regardless of where the oil was tested. So that's what that grayed out column is, what the item should be. And again, it looks like the Xterra falls perfectly within these values. Now I'm really glad I had this done because uh, for 140,000 miles, this is an excellent report. It shows me that things are doing very well inside the motor. So that's it. It's a pretty simple process to get your oil analyzed, especially if you're already doing an oil change. These types of reports are especially useful if you think that you're having a major problem with your motor. For instance, a major seal leak inside the motor, like at the head gasket. So whether you do this every oil change, every other, or maybe even once a year, it really helps you keep an eye on the health of your motor. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when new videos are released, and keep up with what I'm doing by heading to rtcg.tv. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.